Good evening. I am Sister Mary Beth Ginoli, a member of the Sisters of St. Francis from Oldenburg, Indiana, and a 1978 graduate of Marion. I am privileged to serve as the Vice President for Mission Effectiveness here at Marion University. On behalf of the Sisters of St. Francis of Oldenburg, Indiana, I would like to extend congratulations to each one of you and your families. Thank you for being an important part of Marion University and for your willingness to be of transformative service to the world. As we begin our time together, let us remember that we are in the presence of our Creator as we pray. God of all healing, we ask you to be with us today as the members of the class of 2020 take this important step in their health-giving ministry. We ask you to bless their hearts with compassion and kindness. Bless their hands with skill and tenderness. Bless their minds with knowledge and wisdom. May they always remember that the true purpose of their calling is selfless service and true dedication to each person they encounter. We ask these blessings in all your holy names. Amen. I'm Marcia Casey, the Senior Vice President for Health Professions, and I want to congratulate you on this most important accomplishment on your journey to being professional nurses. Um, you're now going to be Marion University alum, part of an elite group that is out there serving our community. And I'm sorry we can't all be together. Hopefully we'll figure out a way to celebrate in the future. And I just wish you the best. Stay healthy and happy. And thank you for your contributions that you're going to be giving to our communities and those in need as professional nurses. Again, congratulations. I too would like to welcome you to your virtual pinning. This has certainly been a time of change. I look forward to a time when it is safe to gather in larger groups and celebrate all of your achievements. But as of now, we can be thankful for those that we can spend time together with and enjoy each other at a safe distance. Today, I ask to you to reflect on the time as you as a student you have a, certainly have a lot to remember. Tonight, enjoy this celebration, and tomorrow begin your journey to becoming a registered nurse. You have learned so much since the early days of your education. You've made it through a lot of difficult exams, endless care plans, early morning clinicals, and virtual experiences. We are all so proud of your accomplishments. As you start your career, you can expect that it will be challenging, more challenging than anyone has ever imagined. You will enter into nursing with a true sense of how you can make a difference in someone else's life. You will also enter nursing with a true sense of appreciation for your fellow workers and an appreciation from the public as well. You enter a career where you learn something new every day and you will have the privilege of sharing that information with others. Like me, you will remember some of those that you care for, but I ask you to strive to be the nurse that your patients fondly remember. You alone represent all nurses in each patient encounter. Nursing is a difficult profession. It is intellectually, physically, and emotionally demanding. I challenge you to be the, strive to be the nurse you have dreamed of being. Like the Marian nurses before you, I ask you remember to treat every patient with dignity, be an advocate for peace and justice, and be responsible and forgiving. I promise that you, as you embrace these Franciscan values, you will be the nurse that your patients will remember, the nurse your colleagues will respect, and the nurse that will help lead healthcare into the future. You'll also be the nurse that will represent Marion University and the nursing profession well. It is an honor to be with you at this milestone. It is an honor to have helped you fulfill your dream, and it is an honor to welcome you into the nursing profession as a colleague here tonight. 
the faculty and I wish you the very best. Enjoy the day and then study hard for those finals and study for your NCLEX. Thank you. Good evening and congratulations, students. I, Professor Margaret Meyer, along with Professor Janet Bales, will be presenting the following senior awards to three outstanding students. The first award is the Clinical Expertise Award. This award goes to the student who demonstrates nursing education developmental acquisition of skills, procedures, and techniques necessary to provide nursing care utilizes caring behaviors to promote self-actualization of individuals, families, and the community, employs therapeutic communication techniques with individuals, families, and the community, Oper operationalizes the nursing process components of assessment, intervention, implementation, and evaluation when providing nursing care, integrates nurse educator, researcher, advocate, collaborator, and communicator, all of these characteristics that are a part of the nurse practitioner role. Nurse, nursing behaviors to maintain professional growth, self-evaluation, and lifelong learning. Incorporates liberal arts, nursing education to form a foundation of nursing practice with patients. And the Clinical Expertise Award goes to Nicholas Sullivan. Congratulations, Nicholas. The next award is the Student Mentor Award. This award goes to the student who supports, affirms, and inspires student peers, motivates peers to achieve their full potential, possesses strong interprofessional skills, exhibits positive attitude, and is recommended by the class. And the Student Mentor Award goes to Rachel Malloy. Congratulations, Rachel. The third and final award is the Franciscan Award. This award goes to the student who demonstrates the four Franciscan values in various aspects within the university, the School of Nursing, and the global community. The four Franciscan values are dignity of the individual, peace and justice, reconciliation, and responsible stewardship. And the Franciscan award goes to Gerardo Hurtado Reyes. Congratulations, Gerardo. And and congratulations to all of, all of the members of this graduating class. Now I'd like to introduce Christopher Stewart to speak on behalf of this cohort. Good evening and congratulations to my fellow nursing school graduates watching tonight. My name is Christopher Stewart and I'm honored to be your class speaker for the fall 2020 class of Marion University's ABSN program. As you can see, I'm coming to you live from the Purdue Road site via a recording in my kitchen. Peak 2020, right? The only thing that could be more accurate representation of this year is if they change the lyrics to I'll be home for Christmas to I've been home all year. Tonight is a celebration of all that we have accomplished. Finishing nursing school is challenging. Finishing it in 16 months even more so. And finishing it during a pandemic, nearly unthinkable a year ago. That is why I'd like to thank those who helped us arrive at this moment before we move on and look to the future. First, thank you to all of our clinical instructors. The clinical experiences are the heart and soul of any nursing program, and ultimately what were most affected by the transition to virtual learning in March. For the second half of our spring semester in Med Surge 1 and mental health, and for our entire third semester this summer in Med Surge 2, pediatrics, and maternity, our clinical instructors were asked to teach us how to care for patients without an actual patient. On behalf of our cohort, thank you all for your tireless efforts to repair us as best you could. Second, thank you to all of you. Thank you to every member of our cohort for the effort, positive attitudes, and willingness to help lift each other up over the past 16 months. I've often said that as a male nurse, sometimes feels as though I joined a sorority, but we really have forged close bonds and created a family atmosphere while overcoming all of the challenges we faced. And at the heart of that sense of family, our individual clinical groups. While my group may be different from yours, I know how much each of our groups came to mean to us. When I think back to that day, we were emailed our roster last August, and I read TJ Bowman, Jennifer English, Mary Hauser, Kayla Sirk, Gabrielle Rovato, and Sophie Van Ostenberg, I never could have guessed then how much those names would mean to me now. Just as I'm sure many of you have your own list of names that have become incredibly meaningful to you over the course of this program. 
You stopped being classmates and friends a long time ago. You're family for life now. I would also like to take this moment to recognize those of us graduating tonight who are parents, and that includes longtime parents, new parents, and soon to be parents. Quite frankly, nursing school was hard enough while only worrying about myself. To be a parent, a student, and quite possibly even your child's virtual learning teacher this year is a remarkable achievement, and you should all be very proud, as I'm sure each of your families are proud of you too. And finally, thank you to all of our families and loved ones for the love and support throughout this program. As students, we were not the only ones who made sacrifices of our time and energy. This achievement would not have been possible without those celebrating alongside us tonight. So by all means, take a few moments, talk over me, and thank those closest to you now. Mom, Roger, Grandma, Grandpa, thank you all so much for being there for me for the past 16 months, and really for the three decades that came before that. I love you all so much. And now, after reflecting on those who helped us reach this achievement, we look ahead to the future. Many of us are only days away from starting our new careers. And typically speaking, in an address such as this, an inspirational quote would be included. I did look for one, but as I thought about how different each of our journeys have been up to this moment, and how different each of those journeys will be moving forward, I came upon a realization. I don't need to give you a motivational quote tonight, because I believe that you can be your own motivational quote. Think about it. How many of you are nervous for your first day at your new job? How many of you are nervous for taking the NCLEX? How many of you are nervous about making a mistake when you're finally without a preceptor? All of those are understandable. But also think about how nervous you were on that first day in the auditorium in the basement at St. Vincent last August. How anxious you were before our first exam and likely every exam after that. And how worried you were about our first checkoff on simply washing your hands. Think too about the immersion experiences this semester and how nervous you were for your first day of those and how you were so amped up for your first day in the operating room that you passed out an hour into open heart surgery and were unconscious in the sterile field and had to be carried out of the OR and into the hallway by the anesthesiologist and you know, nobody? <laughs> Me either. I don't know why I use such a wildly specific example for that. Instead of focusing on what worries you, instead remember all that you have learned and all that you have accomplished already. We have learned plenty of textbook information that we will use daily such as normal ranges for vital signs and lab values. We have learned critical thinking skills like patient prioritization and safety. We've learned useful reminders, such as Professor Burns saying that a good nurse is always looking for trouble. And we have learned many procedures and techniques during checkoffs that we have plenty of experience performing in skills lab, but performing correctly nonetheless. And we have inside jokes that will almost certainly resurface at the worst possible moment. For example, the many ways to implement TED hosts, or, or that the elevator button that says DN, yeah, it stands for down. We all understand that as nurses, we are expected to be lifelong learners. Nursing school cannot prepare us for every single first that we will encounter in our career, but it can provide the confidence to know that we can overcome every new obstacle we will face. We have already accomplished so many things leading up to this moment tonight that once seemed intimidating. So if you find yourself worried in the future, remember how far you've already come and have faith that you will overcome those challenges too. Thank you for your time tonight. Congratulations once again on a tremendous accomplishment and enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Good night. Hello everyone. My name is Nicholas Zuccardi and I've been asked to talk a little bit about the Marion University nursing pen and the symbolism it holds. In 1991, the students of the BSN graduating class designed this pen to indicate the interrelationship of the nursing program and the Marion University community. The pen features the school colors blue and gold with Marion's emblem in the center. In the middle of the emblem, there is the Latin phrase Seres Sapientiae, which translates to Seat of Wisdom. This is in reference to Mary, in whose lap rested Christ, the wisdom of God. Below the Marian emblem rests the lamp of knowledge, which symbolizes nursing's commitment to knowledge and caring in the rich tradition of Florence Nightingale. Both the seal and the lamp are placed on the cross, signifying the commitment to spirituality and reverence in the nursing profession. Knowledge, reverence, wisdom, and spirituality. 
These core values are what nurses everywhere rely upon every day to make the world a better place and care for the patients that put so much trust in them. For 18 years in a row, registered nurses have been voted the highest in honesty and ethics by Americans across the country out of many other professions. We as nurses must always strive to uphold the amazing legacy of the nursing profession in our communities by serving and advocating for those in our care. The nursing profession has become infinitely more diverse than it was at its creation and continue, continues to evolve all the time. The core values of nursing signified by this small piece of metal are more than words. They are the driving force behind everyone gathered here today to celebrate their entrance into one of the most critical roles in healthcare. Everywhere you go, there is a nurse who is more than willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. To my fellow graduates, never forget these core values that create the foundation for nursing practice that will guide you in any situation you may encounter. Always stay true to yourself and know that help is never far away. Especially in the hospital, if you yell help, you can guarantee 10 or more nurses are going to be running in your direction no matter what's going on. I would like to take a minute to thank all of the friends and family that helped encourage and support these graduates through their nursing education. You are appreciated more than you will ever know. Thank you everyone for your time and I wish you all the best. Congratulations and know that your journey has only just begun. Good afternoon. I'm happy to be with you today to celebrate this great moment, your achievements and all the hard work you put into coming to this moment in your life. And also in thanksgiving for all the people who have prepared you for this moment of pinning. I just want to say a word before I, I actually give the blessing. And that is that during this past year, the last 12 months, I have really grown to appreciate the role of the nurse in the healthcare system. Since being diagnosed with cancer last November, and through all my chemotherapy sessions, visits to the hospital, to the doctors, my cell, stem cell transplant in July, when I spent a month in the hospital, I have really come to appreciate the hard work and the loving care that the nurses give. I'll be deeply grateful to the nurses for the rest of my life. They certainly were a moment in where I could see the hand of God and feel God's presence through the love and care that they gave me. I wanted to say that because yours is a beautiful profession and I know a lot of people like myself are very much deeply grateful for each one of you. And I'm sure you and your life will touch many, many lives. So now let's say a prayer to bless the pins which you will receive. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for all those who on this day will be pinned, that they find meaning in a life by serving others rather than self, to be involved in the creative healing of all people and to make a difference wherever they go. May these pins be a daily reminder to them of their call to serve with dedication and generosity and to be living vessels of your love and compassion to all they are gathered called to serve, respecting the dignity of each individual. We beg God's blessing on these pins and on all who receive them this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you and congratulations. Kiara Adams. Madison Barker. Sarah Boldry. Thomas Bowman. Drema Cash, Meredith Clausen, Shelby Cleeter, Kyle Cooper, Caitlin Combs, Kelly Dallin, 
Aaron Debrada, Mariana Ebley, Daniel R. Elliott III, Victoria Ellis, Jennifer English, Rachel Enos, Fallon Eubanks, Audrey Fields, Emily Fletcher, Natalie Franklin, Caitlin Frazier, Amanda Hall, Aubrey Hamilton, Meredith Harrison, Mary Hauser, Lorraine Harold, Steve Herrera, Noel Hill, Gerardo Hurtado Reyes, Hugh Canner, Lynn Kidwell, Ashley Kleckner, Leonidas Porchin, Catherine Krupski, George Lampras, Hannah Lease, Kayla Lee Sir, Rachel Malloy, Terry McGarry, Amaria Mintel, Jocelyn Owens, David Park, Ranesh Patel, Samantha Peterson, Gabrielle Rivado, Carmen Reichard, Taylor Ritchie, Rebecca Roberts, Alita Rorda, Kayla Runyon, Rebecca Salem, Quincy Schusler, Alexandria Schroeder, Stephen Seelan, Victoria Schuer, Brooklyn Sloss, Christopher Stewart, Nicholas Sullivan, Christina Taylor, Evelyn Thomas, Janet Tran, Olivia Trusty, Haley Uchino, Sophie Van Ostenberg, Hannah Van Hoyen, Danae Vest, Michelle Westfall, Tracy Whitaker, Wendy Weesey, Brianne Williams, Elaine Woodling, Dan Zhu, Nicholas Zaccardi. I would like to uh, ask my fellow graduates and nurses that are watching to please join me in reciting the Nightingale Pledge. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of the assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drugs. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in all confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty, I will deliver care as a missioner of health and I dedicate myself to devoted service for human welfare. Congratulations and warm greetings to our dear nursing students, faculty, and staff. My name is Dr. Tamaria Cox, and I serve as the Senior Director of Nursing Services for the online ABSM program. Dr. Maya Angelou once said, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Today marks a milestone in your journey as student nurses. It means the achievement of a goal and readiness to assume additional responsibilities. It also serves to celebrate the journey towards an entry into the nursing profession. Hence, I encourage you to uphold the value of caring, which should always be in the heart of every student nurse. I encourage you to fully engage in maximizing your experience by connecting with nursing leaders, teachers, and researchers who are committed to improving the healthcare profession. I encourage you to practice civility to your peers, dignity to your patients, and reconciliation related to our healthcare disparities. Finally, I will welcome you to this esteemed profession. May God bless your hands so that you can be a blessing unto others. Congrats. One of the traditions of the Sisters of St. Francis is that we offer the blessing of St. Clair to those gathered for a special occasion. St. Clair was the first woman to follow St. Francis of Assisi. She was a woman of prayer and of service. 
Sister Gloria Gallagher, who taught at Marion College University for many years, put this blessing to music in 1951. Feel free to extend your hands in blessing as we offer this prayer for each of our newly pinned nurses. Aubrey, I am so proud of you for finishing nursing school. I knew that you could do this. You are going to be an amazing nurse. You have worked so hard over these last two years and I can't believe that you are going to be an RN soon. So congratulations. We both love you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Amanda. We're so proud of you and all the hard work that you've put in. Um, we just love you and are so proud of you. Congratulations. Hey, Amanda. Congratulations, and I'm so proud of you. Hey, I just wanted to say congratulations on your big accomplishment. It's so exciting. You are just an amazing person. You're a great mom and a great friend, and you're going to make a great nurse. Congratulations, and I can't wait to see you excel. Amanda, I'm so proud of you for graduating nursing school. Love you. Congrats, Amanda, on nursing school. I'm so proud of you. You're going to make an amazing nurse. You have been literally superwoman this whole time. And anyone who is you're going to work for, they're going to be so lucky to have you. And any patient that has you are, is going to be so lucky. You're going to care for them so well and be such a good nurse. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations, Amanda. So proud of you. I don't know how you did it. You are a superwoman. I'm so proud of you. You're going to make a great nurse. I love you so much. Congratulations. Hey, Amanda. Congratulations on graduating from nursing school. We're so proud of you. To be able to do that alone, I know is a really big achievement, but to do it with three kids, while working, I don't know how you did it. You're awesome. We love you, and you're amazing. Congrats, I just heard. Good job. <laughs> Congratulations, Becky. We are so proud of you. Grandma would be super, super excited that you've become a nurse. Congratulations. Love you. We love you. Congratulations, Natalie. You've worked so hard for this, and I am so proud of you. I love you. <laughs> we are so proud of you, and we love you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Love you so much, Mariana. Congrats. Congratulations, darling. We've got a big, big bottle of Veuve Clicquot with your name on it. Can't wait to see you. We, we love you. you. <laughs> Congratulations, Natalie. Your patients will be very lucky to have you as their nurse. Congratulations, Natalie. You took care of me when I needed it the most, so I know you'll do the same thing with your patients. Go. Hey, Natalie. Congratulations on graduating. You motivate me every day. Sending lots of love from sunny Sweden. Hi, Dan, honey. We just wanted to say that we're so proud of you and congratulations on graduating. We know you're going to be an amazing nurse. Mommy, you worked so hard that you definitely deserve it. Congratulations! Natalie Franklin, I am so proud of you and all that you've accomplished since your time in nursing school. I have had the honor of knowing you for 
several years, I won't say how many, and um, just knowing your heart and your compassion and your love for others just fills me with so much joy knowing that others will get to experience that as well. You are going to make an amazing nurse. And again, I'm super, super proud of you. Love you, girl. Hello there. This is a congratulations to Miss Natalie Franklin. I am super proud of you. I had to say congratulations all the way from Jackson, Mississippi. I've been knowing Natalie for a long, long time. And I think she's going to be a great nurse. Bye-bye.